This painting was made all the way back in 1887 by Toulouse-Lautrec, and it turns out to say a lot about beauty and the history of medicine and how weird humans are. So in 19th century Europe, tuberculosis was believed to be an inherited condition associated with certain personality traits, especially a kind of sad-eyed, poetical, here-for-a-good-time-not-here-for-a-long-time disposition. And because it was believed to be a side effect of being a super deep person, tuberculosis was heavily romanticized, but it was romanticized in highly gendered ways. For men, tuberculosis was seen as a means of quickening genius, as one writer put it, like John Keats's poetry supposedly got much better in the last year of his life as he suffered from tuberculosis. There's an old story that Victor Hugo's friends would tease him by saying that he could have been a really great novelist if only he'd had tuberculosis. But for women, tuberculosis was romanticized as a beauty ideal. So women dying of tuberculosis were often very thin because they had very little appetite, they had sunken wide eyes, they also had rosy cheeks from fevers, which was known as the hectic fever of consumption. Like Henry David Thoreau once wrote, disease and decay are often beautiful like the pearly tear of the shellfish or the hectic glow of consumption. And in this painting, we see those 19th century beauty standards laid bare. A thin, pale woman looks directly at us, and on her table, we see rice powder, which was used as makeup to give women a more consumptive pallor. Magazines at the time actually encouraged women to apply the poison belladonna to their eyelids to dilate their pupils so they could have that wide-eyed, consumptive look. Of course, in point of fact, tuberculosis was nothing like its romantic ideal. It was and remains a terrible way to die. But the ideas that emerged from the romanticization of consumption are still with us, even though 